I'm here with Ray Todic, coach of U12 Boca, and just had a good victory in semifinals against Key Biscayne, coming out with a win. Ray, talk to us about what went on today and how you prepared your team for today. Oh, we prepared for a lot of movement on the field, a uh, lot of tough tackling, um, lots of ball passing, and actually just general intelligent rugby. Um, you know, really, really focused on making sure that they get back 10, uh, field placement, et cetera. I mean, we uh, we played a good, hard game today. Uh, it was a good victory. Uh, Key Biscayne's always a tough team. Um, on to the finals. Okay, so how do you feel how the 2021 season went since because of COVID and the sprint? How was it for you as a coach um, for today? You know, uh, I, I look at how the season went uh, as uh, a blessed one. You know, we had uh, all the parents supported the cause, uh, brought the kids out. Um, the club in general uh, was highly responsible, uh, making sure that uh, everybody had proper temperatures, masked when needed. Um, you know, be responsible if you do get yourself sick. Um, I'm very proud of Boca and how the whole system was handled. Very thankful. How do you think your team did this year? I mean, overall, coming through everything you prepared right, like you said, but. One more match to go, obviously it's going to be against Okapi. How do you feel that your team's going to do preparing for that coming up next? Well, as far as uh, how they've come up through the whole season, um, leaps and bounds. Um, they really came together pretty well, loosened up a little bit in the middle, uh, and we were able to tighten it up to a really nice game. Uh, we do have Okapi in the finals. Uh, those guys are tough. They play good, good rugby. Uh, always tough adversaries. Uh, we're going to go out and implement the same plan as always. Hard tackling, good passing, communication, field placement. We're coming for that crown. Okay. Now, what are you looking to see in the union, Florida Youth Union? Anything that you'd like to see more of? Any changes? More teams? Or, it could be a list of things, but what's one thing that sticks out that you... Um, you know, I see? think what sticks out the most uh, is a nice wish list, I think, for anyone, would be to have more teams to grow the sport. You know, this is an outstanding sport. Uh, there's a lot of football in Florida. So that means there can be a whole lot of rugby in Florida, as it should be. So more teams, share the love. You know, better, more intense competition, you know? And so one thing, Ray is a football coach. And you I'm not, I'm not coach. coach coming from Boca. Uh, yeah, the, the, I actually am just a, an ambassador. Uh, for on, Boca. For Boca Raton. Braves, yeah. uh, and then also uh, now well, my oldest son will be playing for the Pompano Eagles. Okay, so you know, as a crossover parent and coming over yeah. with your son from football to rugby, yep. do you see the differences? Yeah, tremendous difference, and we get a lot of love from the football community. Um, a lot of the boys that played football came over, and uh, you know, the coaching staff at the Boca Bucks are able to enhance and correct a lot of tackling. Uh, it's a big, big turn on for the football community. Uh, and it's different. You have to think differently. It's, it's a fast man sport. So a uh, symbiotic relationship that's absolutely wonderful. Perfect. Thank you, Ray. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.